YouTube, what is y'all doing? As you can see, I'm in the daily, AKA the Camry. And I got a nice little adventure plan today. This is one of the rare occasions where we actually get out and do something, but it's gonna be off the beaten path. It's not something like we usually do. It is car related, so, you know, dig that. But today what we're doing is we're gonna be heading down to Atlanta, Georgia, not in this car. I rented a car. I know that's not exciting. Um, I go to Atlanta a lot, but because my brother lives down there. But what is exciting is today I've rented a special type of car. And the reason why that car is special is because it doesn't run on gas. That's right, I rented an electric vehicle. Now I've seen a lot of videos like on YouTube where people are renting Teslas and like just doing reviews on it and what to expect. But that's always different than doing it firsthand. So when I booked this trip, by the way, I booked it through the um, Capital One app. I got a Capital One travel card. And I booked this car for the weekend, two days. It's going to be like $126. I couldn't pass up on it, so I booked it. And I'm going to be driving this car down to Atlanta. I've never driven an electric car before, so this is going to be interesting. It's also going to be interesting because I think plan for our trip, we got like 246 miles to go. And I think they said on the site that the Tesla is only charged to go around like 260 or 273, something like that. So we're gonna be cutting it close. The beautiful thing about the Tesla is that I hear that you can map out road trips on there where it'll like show you where you need to stop and recharge and things like that. So I'm gonna give y'all a real life experience, like somebody who's never driven a Tesla before. I'm gonna pick this thing up at the airport. Right now I'm picking up my wife. Um, then we got to go drop this car off somewhere because I'm not paying for um, overnight parking at the airport airport sorry <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for overnight parking at the airport so I got to drop this car off and then we're gonna be probably ubering down to the uh, airport and picking up their Tesla and I'm gonna just try and give y'all a review of it like we're gonna see how this goes should you road trip in a Tesla like is that a good idea in today's uh, world and I think it's gonna be a cool video. So I decided to vlog, bring y'all along for the ride. I hope y'all enjoy the content. And uh, I think that's it. Let's get to it. Side note, right now it is 3.47 p.m. in Nashville. I'm trying to be in Atlanta by eight o'clock. Um, simply because tournament season, that's right. Getting ready for the tournament, or the tournament's already started. And the Memphis Tigers play tonight. Go Tigers. So I'm trying to get to my brother's crib so we can watch that. Hopefully I can make it there in time. I really didn't plan this out, out well at all because I'm I'm traveling in a car that I know nothing about, never driven before. But that's what makes good content. You guys like to see people take chances. So I am taking a chance trying to road trip. I promise it's about time. You ain't been out here that long?
All right, YouTube. So I lost my dead mouse or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so we are now sitting in the Tesla Model 3. And I got to be real with y'all. I'm already having range anxiety. So here it is. We got this whole display. This car is very minimalistic. It feels weird to sit in. What's the battery at? 81%. So it's not fully charged, which sucks. That might be a concern. Anyway, this is the car. Uh, I really don't know what to do but start driving this thing, honestly. Uh, I kind of need to go through the settings and get my map set up so I can start driving. Because as I told y'all before, I am on like, trying to get to, to um, Atlanta by a certain time, so you know first impressions of the car you see it feels funny sitting in here what you think it's weird it's not really nothing like in here she said it's not nothing in here it's weird so let me see how i can get this stuff set up so how this is gonna work is i'm probably gonna give y'all periodic updates as we progress you know seeing what type of battery life i'm getting and that sort of thing but i need to get out of here because i'm probably finna sit in Nashville traffic so that being said, let's get to it. So off the top, I see something that I'm not liking too much. As y'all can see, it says speed limited to 85, which means I can't, you know, go ham in this thing, which I probably won't anyway because I need to preserve the battery life. I'm interested to see uh, my range is 275 miles. So I sh in theory, I should have enough to get where I need to go, more than enough, if I'm not driving like a knucklehead. So next, I need to figure out the whole map situation. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I probably need to spend at least a, a day with this and then, like, try and screw around with it because now I just look like an idiot that doesn't know what he's doing. So, like I said, I'll update y'all as we progress. All right, YouTube. First time driving this thing. I'm going to try and switch it into gear and see. One of the things off the top, I'm going to tell y'all, if you rent one of these and you've never done it before, Make sure you do it when you got time because we just spent like I don't know how much time going through the menu just trying to figure out how to turn the steering wheel heater off. That sucked. Anyway, I figured out how to use the map. I got it set up. It looks like we got to stop in uh, Manchester for like 18 minutes to get some more charge and I think that's going to get us the rest of the way. I don't know. I don't know, um, but just getting in a Tesla for your first time and trying to use it without any guidance is definitely difficult. There's like tons and tons of menus on this thing. Like, I'm already feeling overwhelmed with range anxiety. What are your thoughts? Are you feeling overwhelmed already? A little bit. Yeah, but it's more probably because of me. Uh, or you just don't you know. You don't be reading stuff. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what I'm... I, I am struggling to figure out how to use this car. All right, let's get on the road now. I'm wasting enough time. All right, y'all. We in drive. Does this thing not roll on its own? Ah, oh, you gotta give me gas. <laughs> what would Larry Jones be saying? <laughs> <laughs> this does not feel, ooh, I'm gonna get it. This don't feel authentic. This don't feel natural. I feel like I'm playing around with like a blow up dog right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? So that was interesting. She told me as soon as I when I bring it back, it has to be on 50%. It's just weird to drive right now. It takes some getting used to, definitely. Y'all know I gotta see what this thing can do. I don't think you can do that on curves, though. All right, y'all, we're gonna stop recording and try and get used to this thing. And I, like I said, I'm gonna give y'all an update. All right, so apparently, y'all, we, we pulling up at our first charging point. Apparently, it's fast charging over here somewhere. I think it's over there. Yeah, I can see charges back there. So we finna do our first charge. Uh, not that we need to, but the car is telling us to go ahead and charge. So, that is what we are doing. Alright, so I need to bag this thing up. Tesla buddies! We are part of the crew now. 
That sounds really weird. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna get out and see if I can figure out this charging situation. Um, I don't know how we did on mileage, but we got 177 left. We got 177 left. Show it to y'all. Also, we need to figure out how many miles is on this thing. I don't quite know what I'm doing. So, yeah. Gotta open this some type of way. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> That's a fail. All right, so I guess I just plug this in here. All right, y'all, so basically we just hook the car up to charge we can see how much it's costing us etc etc so my thoughts on this car so far it's cool i mean i'm still getting it used to it it's a lot of things in this menu i'm gonna say this if you ring one of these either like do some research and make sure you up to speed on a lot of these controls and stuff because i got in here and literally didn't know how to do a lot of stuff like What's something that I struggle with? Turning the heat, the uh, steering wheel heater off. I don't know why that was on. I don't know why it was on either, but I could not turn it off. But I figured it out. And like, I'm going through the menu right now. I really want to see how many miles is on this car. I don't know how many is on here. You can see it's charging or whatever. I don't know how well y'all can see that. Not really sure what a lot of those numbers mean right now. Uh. It's saying that after we get this charge, we should have enough to make it. I'm going to continue to play around with this screen. And then, like, I don't know. If I learn something new or something, I have any updates, I'll let y'all know when we get done charging. Like it says, we got 15 minutes. So, let's see what happens. All right, y'all. As we near the end of this charge, we can see we had 257 miles. So far, we spent 200. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> so far, we've spent close to seven dollars well seven dollars well, i figured out how many miles were on this exact one if i go on the software you can see it's sixteen thousand four hundred twenty eight miles on this one anyway it say we have five it says we have five minutes left before we can get to where we need to go okay so it's saying that when i get to where i need to go i'm gonna have 29 percent left so i don't know about y'all but i'm gonna hit the road it's probably gonna get dark and my gopro is dying but i'm gonna try and keep y'all up to date as much as i can even if i had to pull my cell phone out let's hit the road all right youtube don't know how well y'all can see it's gotten dark on us but we are 90 miles away from our destination um i guess i'm having a little bit of range anxiety because i'm seeing my battery drop faster than the miles i have left so it's like a 70 mile difference it's a little concerning i will say but i'm keeping it you know what i'm saying keeping it together um otherwise the car is driving pretty pretty good um all right youtube we made it to our destination with a little bit of battery left to spare i'm gonna try and charge this thing up and go catch this game before it is so we're using a not a fast charger one of these charge points so i'm gonna figure this out and then we're gonna uh try and catch this game all right youtube so i hope this video and stuff is not blurry or anything like that i had to switch to my phone because the gopro unfortunately died which you know surprising anyway we were having some range anxiety so we decided to uh charge the tesla up and i'm gonna show y'all what we got going on so it is now 12 38 at night you see the battery got pretty low um i went and watched the game with my folks i don't want to talk about the game uh so yeah we decided we need to get you know some charge going before in the morning because it was telling us you know battery's really low we recommend charging and not idling and yada 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 so anyway we put up to a charger quit the closest one and let me show you guys this what we discovered when you look for quick chargers, you have to make sure you actually select a fast charger, which is, now I've done. And the closest one is 6.5 miles away. So that means 12 o'clock at night, we need to be checked into a hotel. We're sitting here charging the Tesla. What's your thoughts so far? Mm, it's charging very slowly. 
this is not really ideal. And I had a feeling like we might get into something like this. It's telling me for a full charge, it's going to take six hours. I'm not sitting here for six hours, obviously. Um, I don't even want to sit here for an hour. Um, the hotel that we booked, and I guess this is partially our fault too. The hotel that we booked, we were trying to make sure it had quick charges, which on the site, I remember it saying quick charging was available. But of course, when we get there, there's no quick, there's no, I'm not, I'm sorry, not quick charging. They said charging was available, but of course, when we get there, there's no charges at all. So now we're in this predicament. And if you're looking to rent an electric vehicle or buy an electric vehicle, this is something that you have to take into consideration. Uh, I'm here to tell you that range anxiety is real. Um last thing you want to do is get stuck anywhere but right now i kind of wish i had a gas vehicle i'm gonna just i'm gonna just keep it real i'm gonna say it and i'm pretty sure like all the tesla owners like after a while you kind of learn how to navigate and get through this type of stuff but right now <laughs> but you know i'd rather be sitting at a charger than like dead not near a charger so i don't know how long i'm gonna let this charge up i'm gonna get y'all updated as soon as we figure something out and then, um, yeah, take it from there. <laughs> All right, YouTube. So, came to a fast charger. We charged it up enough to get here. And I'm going to try and give this thing. They say you can get like 80% in 15 minutes. We about to discover that. A little dead in there. It's after one o'clock. So, we still got to get back to our hotel, get all our stuff out the car. What an adventure, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Look how fast it's going, y'all. Yeah. 35 minutes, we should be good. We're going to sit for 35 minutes. Probably. <laughs> I apologize to my wife, man. She had, like, she's really been having range anxiety. Like, she's been watching this battery percentage. <laughs> Because it's a real thing. I mean, I don't let the gas in my car get like under a quarter of a tank. So, like, to see this thing, which is, does not use gas, get that low is very concerning. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna let this charge up and then try and get back to the hotel. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. Last night was rather eventful. I know that I didn't show y'all like the charge after like, I don't know. We, we were up to like two in the morning getting this thing fast charged. It didn't take but like 30 minutes, but uh, something to consider. I will say, this is probably obvious. If you rent one of these cars and you plan on staying at a hotel or wherever, Confirm that they have charging at the hotel that you stay at. It don't even have to be fast charging because most times you're gonna leave the car there overnight and later charge. But here, at this double tree, so here at this double tree in I don't even know where Sandy Springs, Dunwoody, it's not a charger. So if you looking to come out here, in fact, the Sandy Springs area in general, I don't think there's a fast charger or a supercharger rather. Um, within 10 miles or 12 miles of here so that's something to keep in mind but we are back we are just about fully charged 277 mile range 81 percent battery i don't think they let you charge it over 85 percent um and yeah so we're ready to go at this point uh, i gotta make a couple stops then i'm gonna be meeting back up with my parents but uh or my brother and yeah that's pretty much the update right now you got anything you want to say 
No, she don't. <laughs> Not anything useful. Or do you? No, it was stressful. I was having a little bit of range anxiety last night too, but when I saw you stressing out, it started to stress me out. Well, it was... I didn't like it. All right, y'all. So another drawback of renting this car that I noticed is, um, like I told y'all, they speed. They have a speed limiter on here, so you can't take the car over 85 miles per hour. Um, the issue with that is not that I'm just trying to go over 85 miles per hour. You can't actually like if it's your first time driving a electric vehicle and you really want to feel the power, like you just want to like take off and see like. You know what I'm saying? If it really has the amount of torque, like, you know what I mean? Just just to see what the reaction gonna be. You can't do that because it limits you from like having that type of fun with it. So, I mean, I get it. It's probably hurts or whatever, trying to protect their assets and they don't want you running the car, but it sucks. Like, take it off. We, we want to have fun, man. We rented one of these. Um, I don't know. It would just be nice to experience the whole vehicle, but nonetheless, it's still a good experience getting, a, I guess, a taste of it. So I'm gonna go over on this side. I want to see if y'all can figure out how to open the door. You should be able to open. It. <laughs> how do I do it now, Britt? All right, now the door should be able to be open. So we should be able to open the door. Yeah, open the door. Does it matter? Hey. <laughs> she figured. All right, hold on. I'm gonna see that. I'm gonna see a dad open. You saw me do it. No, he did. I don't yeah, think he's he how you do it. Can you open the door up on here? It ain't open. He ain't open it. <laughs> Alright, child pass test number one. Okay, so another test? No, not right now. <laughs> you see, I don't thing. have no gauge cluster or nothing. That's it. So, what you do? So, if I want to. Put your foot on the. Uh, yeah, so if I want to start the car, I have to tap this here. I'm sorry, put my foot on the brake. Oh, it's already really cranked up now. Yeah, now the car, huh? It's crazy, it ain't got nothing on the dashboard. Is it? It will, that screen will convert over. What? When he crank it up, that screen will convert over. No, it don't, this thing right here. Oh, you used to looking at something. So where we, where are we going? Steering wheel. So they ain't got no motor mounts. <laughs> they hurting the motor mount business. Yeah, so you can see they limited to 85 miles per hour. YouTube, giving y'all an update. It's now a new day. It is Sunday, uh, our final day here in Atlanta. I know I didn't record much yesterday, just kind of spending time with the family, chilling. I did get a little bit like us looking at the car and things like that. My dad, who was a mechanic, uh, <clears throat> he was taking pictures of it. He seemed like he was pretty interested in the car. I don't know. Like I said, it's our last day here. We need to uh, check out the hotel. So. That's what we're doing now. Probably go eat breakfast. And then I'm pretty sure we got a charge. Um, I don't remember what the battery is at. We'll check it out when we get to the car. And then after that, we're gonna be heading back uh, to Tennessee. What'd you say? Tennessee. <laughs> All right, YouTube, we just got finished eating um, breakfast with um, some, some family. So now we're getting ready to head back to Nashville. Currently, currently 183 miles, 54%. So the first thing we need to do is, I guess, put in our navigation to Nashville and see where it directs us as far as charging is concerned. Okay, it's saying our first stop, we're gonna supercharge for 40, for 45 minutes. For 45 minutes. Is that true? And we're gonna have 19% when we get there? Is that, is that? That's what it's saying. For 45 minutes. Oh my God, what stop is this? Where is this? It said Adairsville. So that's what we're looking at now. Um, I guess we don't have a choice. We could go to a charger now, though. We could, but should we trust the car? So having a stop and charge for 45 minutes? It seems like a long time. Yeah, and th this is supercharging. Like, why would we have to stop for 45 minutes? It's, it's going to be a 19. So, yeah, that's going to suck, but 
I don't know. I guess we don't have a choice. So hopefully that's in a nice spot where we can like eat and whatnot or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Also, at some point, I'm assuming you want to drive this. You haven't. I was going to drive to the Charger because I thought we were going to a Charger first. But I don't want to drive for an hour. I mean, the rest of this trip is just going to be highway driving. So I don't like highway driving. I like. All right. So she's not going to drive the car, actually. All right, you two. Change of plans. We actually switched seats. So she decided she does want to drive the Tesla. But we found a charger, a supercharger that's closer, so we just gonna full charge before we leave. And then let the car um, tell us from there what we need to do. So, so far she's over here playing with the seat. All right, so I think everything is ready for you to go ahead and make it happen. <laughs> Don't start being goofy. <laughs> You're not even looking at the mount. You're just doing your own thing right now. Well, it'll reroute. I was trying to go out right here. Okay. Pulling out onto the street. First time in the Tesla. I don't feel like I'm driving a real car. <laughs> you don't? You don't feel like you're driving a real car. What is this, a toy? That's what it feels like. It was trying to tell you to come at it the light up there, but you wanted to. You wanted to figure this out on your own, so. <laughs> Does it feel fast to you? Yeah. You feel like you were saying you don't want it? I don't feel like I'm really trying to go 45. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> so you don't feel like you have control over the car? <laughs> no, I feel like I have control over it, but it just feels there's just speed there I mean, it's, a, it's, it's a, weird it's a pleasant drive i get it it's, yeah it's very smooth all right youtube so I did we it. you did <laughs> we made it to a fast charger and this is Ackworth, georgia or something yeah we're in Ackworth, georgia about to charge the car up all right youtube we got the car plugged up it's charging i'm saying 30 minutes remaining right now it is currently 12 38 p.m so it just dropped down to 25 minutes and it's charging saying six 575 miles an hour so yeah it's going forward let's just see how long it takes while we're charging bria huh? you want to tell us about your experience what you think <laughs> um so it was pretty cool I like it. It's um. You want me to buy one? It's weird. I don't know if I want you to buy one. Okay. <laughs> like I understand why people like them. Um. It's 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 weird. Cause it doesn't really feel like you're driving a car. Why are you looking like that? This coffee is not good. <laughs> You was telling us like can you hey, you're stay struggling. On okay, okay. All right, you two, we're done charging. Right now we're at 294 miles. It's now 108. Let's see if I can see how much that charged me. Some kind of way in here. I can see charging. So I paid seven dollars and seventy-seven cent for a full charge. I got like a hundred and fifty plus miles on that charge, so that was pretty much it. We're ready to go. So, all right, you two, we made it to Manchester, Tennessee. 48 miles to spare, 14%. All right, you two, back on the road. I know I didn't update y'all with that last charge. Uh, kind of running low on time, so moving a bit quicker. I haven't, like, I don't really have time to vlog like I want, but we were able to charge the car up. This was the most expensive charge, costing it like $20. So, I don't know why it was so much more expensive this time, but that was the most expensive we, charge we had, but had to do it. Um, so we're back on the road about an uh, hour outside of Nashville. So I gotta have this car back at, and she said no later than 4.45. It's 4.05. I'm out an hour outside of Nashville and we gotta go pick up our other car to drop this one off so we're not stranded. So that's the goal right now is to get this thing returned on time so we don't get charged for an extra day. All right, YouTube, we just dropped off our luggage. 
Um, right now we're at 54 percent. It's saying by the time I get it to the airport, it's gonna be at 50 percent. So I'm gonna go ahead and return this. I got something I want to vent about, but first I'm gonna get this car where it needs to be. All right, YouTube, we made it. Your boy is here returning the Hertz Tesla. Um, yeah, I'm just sitting here right now. I'm finna get out of the car, go through it, make sure I'm not leaving anything important. And that's gonna be it. Like I said, I got something I do want to talk about. I don't know if they're coming to check and check people out. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm gonna figure that out and then we're gonna go from there. All right, YouTube, we just dropped the car off. The thing that I wanted to chat about that kind of irritated me, as I was saying earlier, is I feel like I was rushing earlier and then like, you know, circumstances and stuff like that changed. So I called Hertz and I was like, just trying to see how much it would cost to extend the rental for another day. Uh, I'll tell you what I paid for the car. It was like $60 a day. Um, I know it's not probably like the accurate number, but it was approximately like around $60 a day. And so I was calling, you know, to see if I can extend the rental. Understanding that I might not get that same rate and they would not allow me to extend the Tesla rental And I'm thinking to myself like why would you not let somebody extend the rental even if the number changes like Let's say it's some ridiculous amount like I would think that they would never tell you No, you can't extend your car unless maybe you're trying to extend it in The um, location you're trying to extend it at was closed But then even at that it's like Okay I could just extend it and then drop it off somewhere else. I don't know. That kind of frustrated me because it ate up more time because I was having to go out of my way to, I was having to go out of my way to like figure out like, all right, some new plans, make some new arrangements. Um, but yeah, I probably, you know, you can blame me for it, I guess, because I probably should have thought about what I was going to do and had a set plan, but things don't always go and go as planned. Didn't think it would be a big deal to extend a rental. So that, that kind of irritated me. It's not anything as far as the Tesla is concerned. That's why I just went ahead and dropped it in here right now. But it's just renting from Hertz. I didn't I didn't really like that too much, guys. Like, just let me extend a rental. But anyway, we got the car returned. When I um returned it, I think I had like 48%, 136 miles. Uh and I didn't have to charge it again after their stop in Manchester, Tennessee. So we were able to go get the Camry, the daily car, the car that I'm sitting in right now, and take the Tesla back to the rental car agency, which is at the airport. And everything went smooth from there. Um, but overall, the trip was a success. You can see now from my video that it is possible to rent one of these things and go on a road trip. However, there are some things that you need to take into consideration. We're going to talk about those. But for now... I'm just going to try and enjoy the rest of my evening. <laughs>